Okay, so what we said is we want to talk a little bit about caffeine. And um, I think some of you know that S Fuels released, launched a product late last year called S Fuels Primed. And there's a reason we created a product like this for using in everyday use, racing and training. Uh, there's a very clearly, um, you know, global use of caffeine through coffee and tea uh, and various drinks, cocoa, chocolate, etc., as it relates to various ways to consume caffeine uh, in drinks. Now, there's nothing wrong with all of that everyday use. I'm not here to challenge any of that. But as we get into the, if you will, more uh, functional use of caffeine, the challenge we have with a lot of brewed drinks and even, frankly, manufactured drinks uh, is that caffeine is just an ingredient of a more complex compound, whether that's coffee, all the variants of tea, um, and uh, also the soft drinks. And the caffeine levels and obviously sugar levels in the processed uh, products can go up and down dramatically. You know, anything from three times the difference uh, even of a standard uh, bean that's roasted, there can be a dramatic difference, even the way that is ultimately uh, served, uh, ultimately brewed, uh, these can all have bearing on it. And that unpredictability is a problem when you're trying to use the food as a functional food. Um, so we had a video that we produced um, probably three, four months ago, and uh, it goes into the detail of that predictability or lack of predictability that you will find in a lot of coffees and teas, soft drinks, etc. Um, and this was really part of the reason why we created a product with a me measured dose of caffeine that you could get functional uh, application of that, whether it is in training, uh, in racing, or even in everyday use to upregulate and upgrade cognitive function. I wanted to spend a few minutes to make it really easy on how this uh, S Fuels Prime could and should be used in training, racing, and everyday use. And <clears throat> let's start firstly with racing. And the, the guidance we've talked about in other videos is more around 60 minutes before in that it takes that long for caffeine to reach its, if, if you will, its peak levels uh, in the circulatory system. So 60 minutes before the race, having this as part of your fluid intake uh, going into a race, that is what's gonna upregulate uh, fat oxidation, obviously uh, uh, cognitive function um, before a race. During a race, and we have in the other video, and if you look on our site with the Prime product, uh, increasing amounts of the use of caffeine relative to your physical size, and it takes about uh, six hours before caffeine, it has a half-life of about six hours, meaning that that peak amount that hits your bloodstream after you take it, 50% of that is gone within six hours. So if your race is uh, within six hours, you should be able to take the dosage relative to your weight, and that should, all, all, that should be sufficient for you to take through the period of that race if it's less than six hours. Now in an Ironman race, of course, it can be longer than that, it is longer than that. Um, you may need to increase the dosage further. So again, look on our site, I'll put the links below. That will tell you relative to your physical size, uh, how much caffeine, because you need to get into two to three milligrams uh, per kilogram of body weight uh, in order to have the upgraded fat oxidation effect of caffeine. The use of caffeine though, uh, and by the way, that can be applied to high intensity interval training. So again, 60 minutes before the training session, uh, have uh, one of the uh, primed sachets in ice cold water, et cetera, or mix it in with your s -Fuels train. And really that's more of a cognitive uh, function to make you focused and assertive, aggressive, really ready for a high intensity training session. Uh, and that's valuable. In racing, the reason why we increase the amount up to two to three milligrams per kilogram of body weight is because it's at that level that caffeine has its upregulated fat oxidation effect. Uh, you could use it in training for long, uh, long, slow distance aerobic sessions. We can go three, four, five, six hours. And certainly where you're trying to upregulate your fat oxidation in a training session like that, you absolutely could add S-Fuels primed uh, to your train, S-Fuels train, 
uh, MCT and electrolyte uh, hydration of fluids that you're taking during a training session, okay? For everyday usage, and it's not like we're promoting every day you have to uh, take s -Fuels Prime. Clearly, people are using teas and coffees, and that, that's, that's fine. What I would say, though, if you're looking for a cognitive function improvement and you just want to have a cool drink or you want to understand what is the measured dose, how much do I need to get that effect? Um, you know that with S Fuels Prime, A, obviously it supports a more cool drink. I'm going to show you here a number of mocktails soon that you can use as an everyday drink. Um, but um, you actually don't need a whole lot of caffeine to get an upregulated uh, cognitive improvement. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, everyone should be, you know, testing and uh, seeing for themselves, right? What is that measure? Uh, 80 milligrams of caffeine per sachet of s -Fuels primed, and you can test it for yourself in the spirit of an everyday drink. Now, here are some of the mocktails that, if I can share this on screen here, <clears throat> think of these as everyday drinks that you could use if you're looking just for variation in your low-carb keto diet. You know, there's almost no sugar in these. Um, when I say almost none, we have to show some on the, on the nutrition uh, label uh, by law, uh, but it's, it's next to nothing. It's not zero, but it's next to nothing. Uh, so it's not going to be triggering you know, blood sugar spikes and therefore insulin response, uh, but more so specifically around, like I said, cognitive improvement, improvement in fat oxidation. Uh, so these are some ideas and you can get all of this in our life guide. I'll put the link to this below on how to mix up these quick drinks. This is a cranberry watermelon orange uh, mix uh, magic uh, drink during the day. Uh, this one, which is this one is my go to right now prior to my Saturday uh, long, slow distance sessions on Zwift with the Endure IQ S Fuels team. A uh, couple of hundred athletes there on Zwift riding together. This is what I take for the first 30 minutes of the ride. And it's more, to be honest, like I said earlier, cognitive upgrade. And after that 30, you know, 30, 45 minutes, I'll move from that into train. And then if it, if it is a beyond two hour session, I might decide to add some race plus. Mostly I'm on um, S-Fuels train, but this is the, the drink I, I mix with some mint leaves, a little bit of orange, the pineapple from the S Fuels Prime pineapple, some ice cubes and water, and I'm ready to go. Certainly has a nice ping to it as you get into the um, into the into the training session. Uh, here's a watermelon nojito by nojito, meaning no sugar, um, but basically the classic ingredients of a mojito, but mixed with that watermelon flavor from S Fuels Prime. Great way again to to kick off uh, a training session. These are all great variations to mix up your cool drink options, right? So think of these as ideas to spread, you know, what options you have for a cool drink. Clearly coffees and teas, no problem in the hot drink department. Uh, but if you want a keto low carb option uh, to drink uh, during the day, but you also want to get a bit of a cognitive hit, uh, great solution for that and uh, check it out. Hopefully this was helpful. As I said, I'll put the links below to the detailed walkthrough of the S Fuels Prime formulation, the background to its development and how to use it in different usage models. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. With that, have a great week. All the best. Go longer. Talk to you later.